This card is awesome. هذه البطاقة رائعة. أنا ناصراوي تاليشكا. Habita Albita Karutilatun and what's happening boys and welcome to the Anderson Talisco wants to watch episode featuring his inform that he got as part of team of the week three we got some pretty specsy cards today uh we got ourselves a Philly Foden we got ourselves a Huangy a Huangy a Huangy Chan card because Huangy Chan doesn't play golf he he plays football in real life and he's been tearing it up for Wolves and he scored two goals against Newcastle who are about to get taken over by a country. And he's he got an inform card, right? Why did Huangy Chan not get an inform? I'm literally just sitting here. I'm just, I'm just like literally just I'm trying to think of reasons why Huangy Chan would not get an inform. Smash like on the Epi if you're as pissed as I am that Huangy Chan didn't get himself an inform card. Smash like on the Epi if you're putting together a Brazil squad and you're looking at an Anderson Talisha to be able to put together uh, a pretty fun little Brazil squad. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So what happened in the last uh, uh, in the last few hours? So we got uh, team of the week uh, number three again. Uh, inform Tonali, inform uh, Jonathan David got the featured team of the week. Looks absolutely ridiculous as an 84 rated card. Uh, we have these silver stars. Uh, there's a silver stars card in the objective. Definitely want to get an Epi out on him over the course of the next two days. But today, I think the the, the main takeaway here is one how quickly EA upgraded the ones to watch cards. Locatelli has uh, has an 84 now, and Anderson Talisha, obviously the man of the hour, has himself an 84. However, um, he. He can still get upgrades by getting good performances. He plays for Al Nasser, which is currently third in the MBS Pro League. Uh, however, if he wins five out of the next ten matches, which I think there's only seven games... I think there's only seven games left. Either way, I think there's something like seven or eight matches left. Al Nasser are currently third, so I mean, who knows? I don't know, you know too much about the MBS Pro League, but there is a chance that he gets himself one more inform upgrade, which uh, he would get if they get the five wins, and he would go up to an 86 rated, which I think will unlock his full potential. However, this 84 looks pretty damn smexy, and we're going to look into it, and we're also going to be using a foot hero in this episode. Yeah? His name is Al Jabber, and we're going to see if he's actually good in game. So, Anderson Souza Consejo, aka Anderson Talishka, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. If you remember any of his cards last year, especially the Rule Breakers card, you'll remember how nuts this was. He's got 86 acceleration, goes up to 96. 78 sprint speed, goes up to 88. Goes up to 93 finishing with 91 shot power. Already has crazy long shots. Has the finesse shot and the outside the foot shot trait. And then the dribbling stats. 89 agility with 86 ball control, 85 dribbling, 85 stamina, and a nice little bit of strength as well. So just one of those cards that works super, super well. Uh, don't know how it's going to play in FIFA, uh, but uh, I'm excited. Expecting, I'm expecting the world, and uh, I hope he delivers. And again, some people will say this is a tough, uh, you know, given the league, it's a tough card to get into your starting 11. Sasquatch. You can get him into your squad. He's Brazilian. Plenty of good Brazilian links, as showcased right here. Not everyone has the funds for a Vinny Jr., but we're going to be using Vinny. We're going to be using, um, uh, I believe, Sami Aljaber, three-star, three-star, gets the green link into uh, into Talishka is only about 112k. 89 acceleration with 87 sprint speed has nice, uh, his nice... Um, has nice uh, shot power. Apparently has really, really good uh, finishing as the power free kick uh, power free kick trait. And I think what I'm gonna wanna do on this card, I think I wanna get that uh I think I wanna get that agility jacked off a little. An engine sounds about right on Samuel Jabber, 100 percent So let's slap the engine on him. But we're gonna get into a couple matches here, boys. Match number one. Forza Talisha. So the first thing we want to test on, on Talisha's card is the dribbling. And as you guys can see here, he's got that wiry body type. Um, he's got what it was. It, is it is it the short? Is it the lean and tall? Okay, so that's an inside the box finesse. By the way, a new patch is coming out. I think over uh, over the course of the next few days. I think it's going to be released on PC either tonight or tomorrow. I think it's going to nerf outside the box finesses and buff inside the box finesses. Apparently, so. Um, that's definitely something that I think we need. I mean, obviously it's fun ripping finesse shots from distance, but when it's so, when it's so unrealistic, um, I think, you know, that, that comes at a cost. However, I don't hope it's, I don't hope it's nerfed too much because obviously we need a way to counter the boys that are, uh, that, that are doing, that, that are doing the, uh, the, 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 the one depth drop back. So I hope it's not nerfed too much, but apparently there is a nerf coming for outside the box finesse shots and then a, uh, a, a little bit of a buff for the ones inside the box. So that'll be a welcome addition, and I hope, uh, I just really hope it doesn't break the game. Well, the 
He was supposed to do a tackle. Nothing works. What, what was? What was that? This is incredible, guys. Zid wa faala, Zid wa abda, Robinho. Thumma Neymar. Ah, yeah, Neymar. Ah, yeah, Neymar. Ah, yeah, Neymar. Ah, yeah. No, sorry, sorry, old jumper. We gotta have that, my guy. Okay, this, we gotta have that, my guy. P keepers are too overpowered inside the box, man. Like, I, 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 I genuinely, I genuinely couldn't do any more. Summer Al Jabra, Sami freaking Al Jabra boys in the 78th minute. Let's go. Yalla, yalla, Habibi, Haiti. Can they nudge in front late on here? They might be able to get in now. Talisca. And then Anderson Talisca follows it up in the 81st minute. The Anderson Talisca, uh, Talisca Naruto run. Keepers are too OP. Keepers are a little bit. Uh, keepers are too OP, bro. They need the nerf. Yo, Sami Al Jabber is actually kind of a unit, you know. Man, like Sami Al Jabber, what is, is that? Is that is that two? Is that three goals or two goals in two matches played? Ooh, Anderson Talisha. The twenty-first minute, uh, the twenty-first minute finesse. Go on, lad. It just, I, it doesn't make any sense that he moves the way that he does. But then again, it makes total sense because we had the exact same thing in FIFA 21. So I don't know, man. He's, it, it looks like, um, I, I don't know how good Al Nasser are. I mean, I don't know if, it, you know, I, I don't know how good the, 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 uh, the MBS Pro League is. And, you know, if you're third place in, in the MBS Pro League, does that mean that you're rolling through your opponents? Or is there like one team that's like really, really crazy? Look at the pace. This game sucks! And the the only plaint that the only complaint that I've seen no sh no shot like I know net dude no chance bro I'm telling you right now I think Anthony Anthony Martial might be the most OP player in the game dude come too early wanted to keep it but couldn't it's a weighted pass, pass. <laughs> Zuma Neymar okay so apparently Anderson Talisha has a little bit of uh, yo. Okay, so that was just regular square. I I powered that up all the way and sent it to the far post. Anderson Talisa's attacking positioning to be able to get in that position right there. Go on, lad. Shot. Anderson Taliska. Felipe Anderson. Samuel Jabber. So that's when you bring out your keeper. Samuel Jabber in a perfect position goes ahead and does the little uh, does the Saudi uh, does the Saudi Naruto run. Just he doesn't he doesn't, he doesn't lose control of the ball. And return to Anderson Tariska. Look at the wiggling. Yeah, he's bringing his keeper. This guy's done. On Yeka. And a decent delivery. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. But they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. In position to give them the lead, maybe. There you go, Homerino. For 77 rated, he's put himself in some pretty good positions. So 2-1. Again, this is a match that I should be winning. This is a match I should be 100% winning. now in potentially a dangerous position. And he's beaten him here. Time has challenged magnificently. You guys know that I. You guys know that I usually like to keep it a buck fifty with you boys, but you got you got to figure out a way. If not even to do the ones to watch, you got to figure out a way to get this. He's discard. He's 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 twelve k. 
him, and then he draws a pen. I mean, like, dude, every ch every attacking opportunity that we've had in this game has come from an Anderson Talishka. And look what look what Anderson Talishka can do. Anderson Talishka can do a Panenka, and he can send the keeper to the right because that's just what he does. That's game five one. This guy couldn't listen. It took a while to warm up, but once we got going, there's no once once Anderson Talisha once Anderson Talisha gets going, there's no stopping him. He's gonna go in for his uh, he's gonna go in for his game ball, a well deserved game ball. Gets himself the Hattie. I, I thought he scored four. We scored five in this epi. Uh, Semi Al Jabber is looking forward to a friend that he can play along with. Uh, they both get the uh, they both get the green link together. And again, not a hundred percent sure, but I believe there are seven games left in uh, there's seven game uh, seven games left in the uh, in the MBS Pro League. And I think Al Nasser have to win five in order for him to get that one time uh, upgrade which would see him get a plus one in form which would obviously uh, go from an 84 all the way to an 86 that is going to do it for the epi the Anderson Talisco wants to watch an insane upgrade SPC goes from an 82 obviously to the 84 already got upgraded within 30 minutes of being released and uh, the in form goes for about 13,000 coins so it's basically discard this wants to watch SPC you can get done for under 20 uh, 21 uh, 20,000 coins and comes with the uh, comes with the uh, comes with the added benefit of possibly going uh, going up to an 86 don't know how likely it is but if he does go up to an 86 we're looking at a card that has over 90 agility that has probably close to 90 ball control probably close to 88 dribbling and will have probably something maybe like 80 or 81 sprint speed with close to over 90 acceleration so this is going to be a nutty nutty card already is an 84 i think is uh well beyond the meta of what you could expect to use um at this stage in the game i think even this 84 will be good for the next month or so um and look if you're just trying to have fun you, you could use this card for the entirety i mean like 89 long shots will be good enough for the entirety of fifa 22 for the inform value i gotta say it is a four and a half out of five you want to put together a brazilian squad just have a little bit of fun in the game test out uh one of the more meta cards a card that you probably had fun with in fifa 21 four four and a, uh, four and a half out of five in terms of uh in terms of value in terms of on the pitch performance i'm going to also give it a four and a half out of five this guy moves like a silky game boy his agility the dribbling um you know the, obviously the finesse shots it goes without saying he's got the outside the foot shot and the finesse shot trait you know, SBC, you don't have to do it. 20,000 coins isn't cheap, but I mean, for what you get and for the fact that he could go up to an 86, already has gone up to an 84. So for those of you guys that have done it, uh, I'm sure... Uh, you guys see that as uh, as having uh, having been worth it. Um, and if you go, if you don't want to do that, and you just want to stick with the 84. You can pick him up for literally 12 and a half, 13,000 coins. But that is going to do it for the episode, here, boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Smash like if you did. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Going to be streaming tonight on uh, over on the Twitch channel. Going to be uh, picking up on the RTG. Bought Mario Gomez, Foot Hero Mario Gomez, paired him alongside with Louis, and uh, going to be taking them through Division Four and continuing the pain that is rivals in the high divisions. But that's going to do it for the epi. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.